Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to yet another reaction. And this time around, it's, uh, yeah, I tried to go laugh about this stuff recently and uh, my kids, <laughs> my kids were around and they just kind of messed up the whole thing. So if you watched a live video and you're like, yo, what happened there? Um, just know that my kids uh, messed up the whole thing and it was a mess. I had to go and rebuke. Anyway, you know, I'm a parent. So, uh, I'm back with another Botswana shock. Honestly, as somebody who is from Botswana, I am shocked. And I'm sure other Botswana out there are as shocked as I am. Because, you know, elections in Botswana, they are, they have been repetitive and for 58 years. Can you imagine? I mean, we don't hold election every year, but it's been 58 years since we had something we call new government a um, little bit of a history you will know that Botswana was a, protect, a British protectorate so it gained independence in 1966 that's when like everything started becoming political and having a political party and all that but regardless Botswana has been like a peaceful country through it all and one of the only one of the few countries that never actually had any problem with uh among like citizens or just kind of i don't know civil wars uh, they never exp we never experienced it i say they wow look at me just trying to exclude myself anyway fast forward to 2024 uh there's a new government and it's it is just like overwhelming it's overwhelming, it's joyful, it's also like something new, something that I never thought we'll see. I always thought, you know, uh, politics are just kind of, um, I don't know, it's just like you go through the emotions after every four years and then that's it. You go, you wait for another four years, go through. But it's, it's I think Botswana this year wanted to make history and um, started with the political to do to um, to change to make Botswana even a better country because like for me as somebody who's traveling it's it's always kind of like oh man I wish this was this kind of things were there at home and you know it's possible because you only have two million people in the country and why are we not changing and Botswana finally decided um, to go the other way and I'm just so excited to see uh, what 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 this new government is going to do and I'm, I'm, and I'm hoping that they do a really wonderful job I'm really rooting for them uh, to to win you know to rule maybe they should rule another 58 years uh, so that would be that would be like so good to see so yeah man uh, we are rejoicing and um, we also are hoping for better things, better jobs. Uh, they were promising a lot of jobs, a lot of um, uh, a lot of newer things, better stuff. So, and I think that's why they won. Uh, we are we are just so happy. I'm just like uh, watching this now. I'm like, oh wow, people are actually having fun. And uh, uh, what I also like about the community in Botswana is just like even when they're celebrating it's just orderly they're singing they're dancing they're they are honking the horns and that's it everybody goes home everyone is safe um 
and there is no fights or anything and the people even who lost if you can look among all these people that are celebrating you can see like some people wearing different colors just to show, like, you know, it's a uh, yeah there is a uh, a way forward uh, people are not bitter about losing even though you you would uh, i would have expected things to just continue the way they are and uh, I'm not sure how to feel anyway let's go let's check out another video so what you're looking at right there is uh, this this young man is actually a doctor he he was part of the ruling party uh, and was had problems with the leaders and they kicked him out and uh, he he campaigned as an independent candidate which is like super rare i think he's the only independent candidate who won throughout the whole country and his people as you can see they don't have any party colors they're just wearing whatever party color they they can find and they are celebrating him and this is actually really good to see that this really young man i think he's he's like in his early 30s so yeah mid 30s early 30s there and he won independently uh and the only independent candidate i, I think is the only independent candidate that won uh and uh i don't know where who is he gonna join but that was just so good to see that uh they gave him a chance and they wanted him to be in power and they put him there and they are celebrating him because it happened man it happened it's like change coming to Botswana and you know if change is coming to Botswana it's coming to Africa and uh, Botswana might be the country that help Africa to one of the countries that will help Africa to move forward uh, move forward from the old mentality of like just being considered poor continent like you know so who knows uh, thank you so much for watching this uh, we'll see you guys on the other side